Day 4 Total Consecration to Jesus through Mary In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Purpose. Emptying yourself of the spirit of the world. Examine your conscience. Pray. Practice renouncement of your own will. Mortification. Purity of heart. This purity is the indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth and to know him by the light of faith. The first part of the preparation should be employed in casting off the spirit of the world, which is contrary to that of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the world consists essentially in the denial of the supreme dominion of God, a denial which is manifested in practice by sin and disobedience. Thus, it is principally opposed to the spirit of Christ, which is also that of Mary. It manifests itself by the concuspience of the flesh, by the concuspience of the eyes, and by the pride of life, by disobedience to God's laws, and the abuse of created things, its works are sin in all forms, then all else by which the devil leads to sin, works which bring error and darkness to the mind, and seduction and corruption to the will. Its pomps are the splendor and the charms employed by the devil to render sin alluring in persons, places, and things. Readings Imitation of Christ, Book 3, Chapters 40 That man has no good of himself, and that he cannot glory in anything. Lord, what is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you visit him? What has man deserved that you should give him your grace? What cause have I, Lord, to complain if you desert me? Or what objection can I have if you do not do what I ask? This I may think and say in all truth. Lord, I am nothing of myself. I have nothing that is good. I am lacking in all things, and I am ever tending toward nothing. And unless I have your help, and am inwardly strengthened by you, I become quite lukewarm and lax. But you, Lord, are always the same. You remain forever, always good, just, and holy, doing all things rightly, justly, and holy, disposing them wisely. I, however, who am more ready to go backward than forward, do not remain always in one state, for I change with the seasons, yet my condition quickly improves when it pleases you, and when you reach forth your helping hand. For you alone, without human aid, can help me and strengthen me so greatly that my heart shall no more change but be converted and rest solely in you. Hence, if I knew well how to cast aside all earthly consolation, either to attain devotion or because of the necessity which, in the absence of human solace, compels me to seek you alone, then I could deservedly hope for your grace and rejoice in the gift of new consolation. 
He who wishes to be too secure in time of peace will often become too dejected and fearful in time of trial. If you were wise enough to remain always humble and small in your own eyes and to restrain and rule your spirit well, you would not fall so quickly into danger and offence. When a spirit of fervour is enkindled within you, you may well meditate on how you will feel when the fervour leaves. The love of eternal wisdom, the incarnation and life of eternal wisdom. Point 107. During the first 14 years of her life, the most holy virgin Mary grew so marvellously in the grace and wisdom of God and responded so faithfully to his love that the angels and even God himself were filled with rapturous admiration for her. Her humility, deep as an abyss, delighted him. Her purity, so otherworldly, drew him down to her. He found her lively faith and her ceaseless entreaties of love so irresistible that he was lovingly conquered by her appeals of love. So great was the love of Mary, explains St. Augustine, that it conquered the omnipotent God. O Quantus, Amor, Ilius, Qui, Vincent, Omnipotentum, wondrous to relate, this divine wisdom chose to leave the bosom of his father and enter the womb of the virgin and there repose amid the lilies of her purity desiring to give himself to her by becoming man in her he sent the archangel gabriel to greet her on his behalf and to declare to her that she had won his heart and he would become man within her if she gave her consent the archangel fulfilled his mission and assured her that she would still remain a virgin while becoming a mother notwithstanding her desire to be lowly mary wholeheartedly gave the angel that priceless consent which the blessed trinity all the angels and the whole world awaited for so many centuries humbling herself before her creator she said behold the handmaid of the lord let it be done to me according to your word prayers veni creator spiritus come holy spirit creator blessed and in our souls Take up thy rest, come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God most high, O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts unknown, thou finger of God's hand we own, Thou promise of the Father, Thou who dost the tongue with power imbue, Kindle our sense from above, And make our hearts o'erflow with love, With patience firm and virtue high, The weakness of our flesh supply, Far from us drive the foe we dread, And grant us thy peace instead, So shall we not with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside o may thy grace on us bestow the father and the son to know and thee through endless times confessed of both the eternal spirit lest now to the father and the son who rose from death be glory given with thou o holy comforter henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Ave Maristella. Hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother, blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. 
taking that sweet ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eve's name. Break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day, chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin, all excelling, mildest of the mild, free from guilt preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy for evermore. Praise to God the Father, honour to the Son, in the Holy Spirit, be the glory one. Amen. Magnificat, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and his sons forever. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.